two knights, Roman Hope. And now we have Carla Lynn Hall in the auto shrunken head room. In so the hot seat. in the hot seat, yes, yes. yes. So Carla. Hello. You look glamorous and lovely. Um, what's going on in your exciting life? <sighs> so much. Um, gosh, I just started uh, performing again a lot this year, and uh, I'm just taking over the world, or at least New York. And uh, give me three examples on how you're taking over the world. Uh, let's see. Well, um, hmm. Okay. Well, one of the things. Let's see. I have like ten gigs already booked for this year. Where's your next two? Uh, well, I, I have a gig tonight uh, with my classic rock gig, but that doesn't count. Um, Where is that? Uh, Everything right. counts. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, the frying pan. It is a classic rock gig, and uh, it's a it's a Haiti benefit. Oh, nice. And um, let's see. Saturday, I'm doing a gig in Inwood called Art in the Garden. It's gonna be like a party. And then in July, I'm playing uh, Sip Uptown. Wow, good for you. Yeah. That sounds exciting. Yes. Yeah. So, um, all right, that's that's one thing, how you're taking over. What else? Oh, okay. Um, I'm doing, like, more musicians, musician stuff. Like, um, in my other life, I also do a lot of music marketing. Right. With other musicians and uh, other musicians and music companies. Are there any special people you like to work with? Ariel. Ariel Hyatt from uh, Cyber PR, Ariel Publicity. Giving her a little shout out. Nice, and um, but she's she's a, a publicist too. Like, are there artists that you like to? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Uh, let's see, Julia Brown. Okay. Uh, Julia Brown. She's a, she's a great singer songwriter. Um, there's also a guy named Kelsey. We actually went to college a long time ago. Nice. Kelsey from Poetry. Yes, yes. We oh, actually went uh, to University of Miami years and years and years ago. My you brother know? went to University of Miami. Oh, <laughs> Miami's in the house. Look yeah. at that. Well, yeah, I'm from Miami originally. Oh, yeah. wow. So you know Kelsey? Yes, I do. And yeah. how do you know Kelsey? Uh, from Black Rock Coalition. That's okay. Yeah. Well, I, I joined them. I joined yes, by I actually know um, um, Militia who turned me on to the Black Rock Coalition. And through that, I met Kelsey. And a bunch of other really cool people. Yeah. And uh, they do a show once a month. Yeah, and I actually, uh, Kelsey just opened they just did, for, um, for Living, Living Color, Color in, at in, Summer Stage. Right, in Central Park. Yes, 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 that was a very cool gig. I remember them, yeah. yeah they're, they're doing I saw them when they opened for the Rolling Stones. Yes. Yeah, wow. Living nice. Color. Look at that. So Kelsey, Kelsey opened for him. They opened See, for them. And today is the day that Brian Jones left the Rolling Stones <laughs> because See, of drug on. problems. <clears throat> See, you can play June 9th. Kevin Bacon and Everything cool? Anything. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is it Kevin Bacon that's at the same It's Kevin Bacon that they originated. What they has he done? Thing from. I thought it was yeah. Sidney Poitier. No, no, it was Kevin Bacon. I think it's been Oh, it was just um, the six degrees of Sydney. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. was just his son that pretended that he was his son, right? Wasn't that Sidney Poitier? I've never heard that before. Never, ever, ever. Was it Bill Cosby? Don't you remember somebody like said they were somebody's son and they were trying to get? I met a guy in Atlanta once that said he was uh, Joe Louis Jr.'s son, and it wasn't. No. I once said I was Bridget Bardot's daughter because and how'd that work out? I got well. I when I was little, I was like four years old because I, my my parents' hairdresser, would, my mother's hairdressers, all were um, they always used to say that I looked like that. They would show me pictures of her when I was little, mm -hmm. and um, I used to go places and say I was, and I'd get in. <laughs> hey, it works. I don't speak <laughs> French or anything. I didn't even know really who she was. Oh, you say we, we. Yeah, but I didn't know. So, is there anyone that you claim to look like? Ah, uh, no, not these days. I, I can't think of anyone who looks like this now. No, no, I can't either. You have a unique look. What's your name from um, from Living Single? Uh, uh, Kim Fields. Oh, oh, wow. Oh my God. I see. You know that. what? That's Tootie. So funny. Was she Tootie? Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, no, Kim Fields was too. Yes, yes, yes. Because yes, 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 yeah. actually, it's funny you just say that. Because when I was a little kid, my my one of my uncles used to call me Tootie all the time. And I'd wow. say, Sonny, Sonny, Sonny. I love her. And they're like, no. But at the time, they're like, no, don't call me that. So. She turned into a gorgeous woman. Yes, she did. Yes, wow. She did. wow. So enough about all this <laughs> hogwash. Yeah, let's get back to you. Oh, okay. Um, what is the biggest thing you want to talk about right now? Uh, the biggest thing I want to talk about. Um, 
Well, I am taking a cue from you, and I'm going to have my little internet show. Nice. Uh, yeah. Um, Where's that going to be? Well, my blog now is rockstarlifelessons.com, so I'm going to have Rockstar Life Lessons TV. Oh, can you please give us some tips? Because we don't know anything. No, actually, I'm here to get some <laughs> news. <laughs> no. Um, no, I've been like studying your show. I'm like, okay. I'm, wow, you you mean, I'm like on the job training every yeah, day of my life. Well, hey, you have some, yeah, you guys, you have an intern. So I'm like, I oh, do. And I was like, Ooh. I, I gotta give an intern now. Yes, they're the best. They got a free summer job. Hey, well, and yeah, you, you know, put an ad out. Beautiful, right? Well, actually, yeah. that's not true. You, you have to, you know, supply certain things for everyone. Right, yeah, you know, coffee. Coffee. Like what? Don't donut. Do you, well, you know, you somebody donut? actually <laughs> sent me a link online. You know, I don't want to get into anything uh, politically incorrect or correct here. But interns are fabulous. Mm -hmm. Every state has different rules about how to work with them um, yeah everything gets a little red tapey so I don't I'm not the most brilliant when it comes to the law so you can and that's why I have friends like the outlaw <laughs> yeah you definitely work the law and it looks like yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't want to be the authority on anything proper so you know <laughs> Exactly. But tell me, uh, what kind of tips do you give? Um, well, okay, so it's about music marketing, like for other musicians, because a lot of musicians are like, oh, you know, I want to be a big star, or I want to get a, you know, or a lot of these musicians don't even want to be on a big label anymore. So, uh, so what do you think about that? Do you think, um, I, I think about the labels, you know? You do. I mean, yeah, I mean, you don't have to be in a label these days in order to make a living. You just, just you can just start at a smaller place. You don't have to, because also, like, if you're getting that $1 million advance, you're never going to pay it back. I mean, what's the likelihood that you're actually going to pay it back? Very small. Whereas if you're doing the more DIY, do-it-yourself route, you can make some money on your own and actually live. And that's, I think, what we all want. So, but what, what I see is a lot of musicians don't really feel comfortable marketing themselves or putting themselves out there. Like, oh, you know, I just want to make music. I don't want to, you know, do marketing. So I kind of like to find little ways to, to make it fun. And how, how do you, what, can you give like a one sure. other way? Sure, like, okay, like one thing, just so it's more like a mindset kind of thing, um, just to remind people to ask people, ask musicians, why are you doing music? Why, why are you, you know, are you in it to be famous? Are you, are you doing it because you like to write songs? Are you doing it because you want to get laid? Whatever that is, if you know what that is, you use that as a springboard to say, okay, if I, if I put myself out there, if I tell people that I have a show or that I have a CD that's for sale, that means I will be able to do that. And what would you say, you know, if someone asks you for advice, above all else, what would be the most influential piece of advice you could offer somebody in an underground scene to try to make it? Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. For most. Newsletter. You know, someone starting out. Newsletter. Start building your mailing list right away. And start getting a newsletter so you can have permission to send emails to your fans every month and say, hey. So do you ever think, um, do you ever think any, is there ever too pushy? Yes. Oh, there's definitely too pushy. There, there's, I mean, a lot of times I think when people, when musicians are thinking, oh, I don't want to do it, they're usually thinking of someone else and they're right. like, God, that person's really It's so funny how, like, you know, shy musicians really are. That's true. That's true. To, to be performers, I think musicians are often very shy, you know, and they really don't want to put themselves out there like that. But there's so many other ways you can, you, you can bond with someone over something that they're into, you know, say it could be, you might be vegetarian. You know, or you might be into pets, or you might be into, you know, whatever, whatever else outside of music that, that, that turns you on. There's a lot of other people that like that, too. And you, when you bond with them that way, you can also make a connection with them. And you don't have to, it, it shouldn't all be about, oh, I have a show next week. Come to my show. Come to my show. Buy my CD. Because that sucks, you know, and, and it gets really old. And that whole me, me, me thing is very boring. Yeah. So we have a segment on our show. And um, we're going to hear about you, 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 because we like to. <laughs> and um, it's called Skeletons in the Closet. Mm. And um, he's rolling, 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 rolling. What's up? Today is Strawberry Rhubarb Pie Day. Do you like Strawberry Rhubarb Pie? I don't know if I've ever had rhubarb, but I've had strawberries. Okay. Are we ready? What's the matter? Just keep rolling. Okay. Well, give us a skeleton from your closet, please. All right. Skeleton. Mmm. Um, that means no one else knows about it? Yeah, that's exactly. Make it juicy. Uh, okay. Oh, I just opened up my attention. Um, um, I, now that I've like, Facebooked it and everything. Um, well, I lost my virginity when I was, like, in my teens. And, uh, for the next couple boyfriends after that... Is that 13 or 14? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> there was a, there was a, 
<laughs> it was a clear well, damn. Was, it was 15, but the whole skeleton right. part was that for the next, like, two, three boyfriends, I kept pretending I was a virgin. <laughs> oh! 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 And That's they didn't cool. know. Aww. I played virgin really well. Wow, you and Madonna. <laughs> like a virgin, right? Like yeah, a virgin. exactly. Uh, so please take your pick. You can have a strawberry candy, strawberry licorice, whatever you want. It's I'll take this. Thing. All right. Hey, and, Ruth, maybe she wants more virgin rum. She might. She just might. Yes. So tell me, uh, websites. How do people find you? How do you find me? At rockstarlifelessons.com. Okay. Is there anything else you need to want to? Um, no, that's pretty much it. You're good? You're good? Cool. Yeah, I'm good. And your next gig again is tonight? Tonight at uh, the Frying Pan, and Sunday, uh, excuse me, Saturday at Art in the Garden, which is the Riverside, Riverside, Inwood, Neighborhood Garden in Inwood. In Saturday at 3 o'clock. Inwood's like uptown Manhattan. Yes, we call it upstate Manhattan. Ah, uh, that sounds about right. Yeah, it's way far. And then you had one more, you said. There was a oh, third. Oh, and then, uh... July 11th is 6th. 7 11. That's, a, that's oh, a fun day. I need to think about that. Thank heaven yeah. for 7 11. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, that's what we sip in Harlem. Really? Yeah. There's 7 Elevens in Manhattan now. I'm so excited. I like I 7 Elevens. There really? There's a few. They're at the end of their opening. Oh, we get a Slurpee. There was one of them on the course. I love the coffee there because, like, you know, I used to, I just like going on road trips to stop at gas stations to get coffee because, like, it has all those, I have to get the coffee cocktail. I'm feeling a little of everything. It's like, we're not used to that here, you know? Like, it's like black coffee. That's it. That's what I have. I like black coffee, but then in those gas stations, I go freaking ballistic. So many years later, still like, I know. Being in Kenny's, you're like, so much So 7 Eleven signifies that, and now. So that's your gig, 7-Eleven. Yes. How exciting. All right. So Carla Lynn Hall, yes, thank you so much. Thank you for having and, me. And um, good luck with your show. When's it starting? Which one, tonight? Or? The Rockstar. <laughs> oh, Rockstar Life Lessons. Uh, what month are we in now? Um, maybe like mid-July when I get my interns up and running. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. Swami, we're ready to go. We're going to come right back on Ruin Who in a minute with another guest. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful.